What do, what do we have here? Good morning, YouTubers. Looks like I got another gift. I got something from, oh, I shouldn't park here. I guess you park up there. Give myself some, some space here. Well, sold the uh, stove yesterday in the fridge. Guess which one it was, guys. The 24 inch stove and 24 inch fridge. <clears throat> I knew they'll go fast. They're the best sellers. Best sellers. I'll get my coffee later. What condition is this? Oh, feet problems already, I can see. Oh no, let it be in good condition. So, he says, oh. Might have a lid switch problem because the lid is warped. It says dryer works, washer doesn't work. So I want to go through it quickly, find out why it's leaning like that. I already got a buyer for this. The guy who bought the fridge off me yesterday in the stove, he came with a car so he can only fit this fridge in. He's coming back for the stove. It's for an apartment unit and he also was asking for this. I said, I'll have one tomorrow for you. So if I can figure out what's wrong with the washer, I got it sold today for 700 bucks, so see what happens. Okay, and that's what's wrong with it. He's a rough guy, he's very rough. He broke the leg here. Thank God it's one of those plastic ones. And I got a lot of those, and I have to replace that foot there. Yeah, he broke that leg. You can see we're scuffed and the leg broke right off. All right, we're gonna replace that right now and find out what's wrong with this. Uh, and I think it's one of these things here. Or this. One of these. That's where you keep your parts. Oh shit. We'll just try to remove that one with some pliers if it's possible. And we'll replace the foot. Yeah, it looks to be this one here. It's about the same as that. So we're gonna try to take the inside out first. Great. Ah, wasp! Get the hell out of my face! Fuck these wasps are terrible out here. Holy shit! Okay guys, this wasp leaves me the hell alone. I might have an idea, which is a good thing. I hope so. I noticed the, the lid is a bit warped. See how it's... And on this side here is the lid switch. Right in here. When this thing hits it here, I don't hear no clicks. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it. You hear it touching. But if you go further down, no clicks. That's just touching it, pushing it down is nothing. So I say it's a lid switch and we got a, a sweet deal here, guys. Let's take the panel off. Let's get my meter and let's check the lid switch for, for continuity, guys. There's my coffee here. Yeah, so he's coming back to pick that up. You can have space in his car. And that'll be gone today at 6. And he also is looking for one of these for his apartment, for his rental unit. So there we go. I got two people who are looking for this, actually. It is a beautiful day. Today is Tuesday, I think. All right, let's take a look at this washer. We'll take a look at everything. The belts, the pulleys, the lid switch, everything. But obviously I can't plug it in, right? So I'm gonna go by just testing everything. Hopefully it's good. All right, we got a problem. My tools and meter is all the way at the end there. I gotta move all this crap again. Oh my God. Hey guys, we took the panel off. This is, by the way, it's a GE, GE stack. You take this panel off, you got two screws, one there, one there, that's it, panel come off. This is basic, not much for these washers here. 
Okay, you got your next switch here, all right? You can click it by hand. And I hear a little contact, but we don't know if the lead is actually contacting it. Hang on, let me move this. Stand out of the sun. Okay, see the lid is warped. See the lid, oh shit, move the tools. She might be holding it down. You don't know, right? Okay, we're gonna test it. We're gonna put the multimeter out to it, close the lid, and see if we get continuity, and then we know it's a lead switch. Hopefully it's a lead switch. Otherwise, the belt intact. So the belt is intact. Transmission no leaking. Motor is there. She's not that old of a washer here. We'll check the pump. Make sure it's not clogged up. Right. We'll do a few tests, but there's nothing here really. It could only be certain things. Well, the timer. It probably wouldn't be the timer because it's not that old of a, of a washer. So let's do the lead switch test here. Let's take these two wires out. One here. I have to take them all out, maybe. I don't know. Hang on. I think I'll be okay. I can probably touch it from there. Hang on. Give me a sec here. Okay. We got continuity on the lid switch here, so that might not be the problem. So now I want to check the pump, make sure it's cleared up and nothing clogging it, stopping it from spinning. So what happens is this guy that I who brings me this these appliances, he delivers new appliances to houses and they just get rid of their old one. And I tell him ask him a question, doesn't hurt to ask. And apparently he asked and he said the washer doesn't work but the dryer works. I wish you'd go a little bit in detail because it'll help me out since I have no power hydro. Look at this, he bent the cabinet here, look. Straighten that out. Shit. Bent it, straightened out. Like the guy said, well, it agitates or doesn't spin, or it spins and agitates, or if anything. If he just gives me a little bit of, I, I don't know what to do. Because I can't plug this in, it's a 220 amp. So I just gotta go by just looking at it and testing a few things, right? But if I end up selling it and the guy has a problem with it, I can go to his house and fix the problem because it'll, then it'll be plugged in and it'll be no problem, right? I'll let him know that, right? So, yeah, there's not much to this. Could be the motor, pump clogged, pump's not working. I have tons of those pumps. I can replace the pump. I got lead switches, but that seems to be fine right now. So yeah, we're just gonna have to go by eye right now. The belt's on it, I spun it, the belt's turning, right? So there's not much to it, really. And that's the bad connection in here. We'll look at that, too. So I'll go from there, guys. Okay, we just connected the hoses here. We'll look at this line here. Pretty disgusting in there. So is this one here. That's pretty gross. Gotta get a better view there. Oh my god. That is disgusting. So, pump could be clogged. Oh shit. Oh shit. Maybe. Let's take this pump off here and have a look here. I feel credit in inside the pump. Okay, the pump seems okay. She's not clogged. I spun the, the pillar of my finger and there is tension on it. So I'm not gonna say, I'm gonna say it's not the pump. And I was looking at the lid switch closer here. If you guys see, there's that black bar there that pushes down, all right? There's also something beside it here. All right, you can see, let me get a flashlight here. Just give me a sec, I'll get a flashlight. There's a metal, another metal piece there. And by the way, there's a cool flashlight here. Police flashlight. This powerful thing, man, it's amazing, man. It's amazing light. Let me show you these guys here. You guys can see that. Hang on. See the metal bar? There's a plastic one, there's a metal one there. And I don't know if it's supposed to be attached to anything because it's got a spring lever to it. And if we push this down, but this thing here is just floating, like. 
the metal bar I can push it down and it stays down up it stays up it's really loose so something's got to do with this really loose look at that it's about to fall off my bet this is gonna be the lid switch so I want to put this back together and uh, take the lid switch out and do some more testing to it okay guys If these flies, I mean, these leave me alone. We can do a test on the pump and show you guys quickly. Okay, we're gonna do a test on the pump here. Get your two leads in the back of the pump. Hopefully, you guys can see here. Yeah, put one here, one there, and you're gonna get 120 around there. So we'll see what we get there. Oh, hang on, right there. So the pump is good, there's nothing wrong with the pump. So we're gonna put the pump back on and we're gonna play around with the lid switch up there. That's 100% guarantees that lid switch causing the problem. It's probably agitating but not spinning. What's up YouTubers? I don't know what day it is today. I think it's Wednesday. Yeah, I think it's Wednesday. Nice cool day. Ain't gonna be hot today. Picked up a washer. I'm not sure what brand it is. I know it's a drug drive. Got it off Marketplace. Uh, the guy said the timer doesn't work. He said the timer needs replacement. I said, okay. Uh, what do you want for? First, he wanted 150. He said, you've got to be crazy. It's got some rust issues. That's normal. Cam that ain't too bad in shape. Okay, you guys can guess it. Throw it down in the comments. I won't tell you what's wrong with it, what I think is wrong with it. She's a Kenmore drug drive washer. Then when I got there, his father said, uh, no, not the timer. It washes clothes, but it doesn't spin afterwards. It does, the clothes are still wet. So you guys can guess what that is, right? Put it down in the comments, guys. You should know now. I know what it is, so it's a good deal. So I gave him 30 bucks for it, because I told him it's probably the motor or the transmission not draining the water properly. But it's not that, so. It says a wash is good, but at the end of the cycle, it doesn't drain, the, the clothes are still wet. So it's not spinning. All right? So you guys put that down in the comments and tell me what you think it is, guys. It's a crazy busy day, guys. Crazy. I was trying to get this washer ready. I found the fridge inside of the street. Now I gotta wash it, because it's really dirty and moldy. It's a 24 inch fridge. So I gotta hose her down, guys. Free fridge, 24 inch, by the curb. Okay, let's lift it up and wash her down. Okay, she's clean, guys. Oh my God, I should have showed you the before and after. It was disgusting. Ooh. Same fridge I had. I sold it for 350 bucks. All right, we'll wipe it down after, but what a big difference. Holy jeez, it still stinks a little bit. Gotta air it out. There we go. Needed some soap and a scrub pad for that, but that's not a big deal. A lot better than it used to look like, that's for sure. Let me put my shit back and get out of here. Even hose this down a bit. I'll get it all sanded now and paint it up. Oh my God, what a day. I don't know if I, you guys see in the video, if I showed you that washer I got off my buddy there. I got another stackable washer. Sold that today, 900 bucks. My buddy Erickson delivered for me for 100 bucks. I don't have to do nothing. I just brought it home to my apartment to test it and all that. So I just gotta bring it down in front of the building. He's gonna pick it up, deliver it for me, and it's a done deal, guys. All right, I say you wash your fridges when you don't have water in your shop. The old car wash, guys. There we go, let's get out of here. All right, sucker, not going anywhere. Got the board to hold the door open, it's closed. I mean, a bungee around the freezer. Let's get out of here. I gotta meet my buddy. Oh, my cloth. Gonna meet my buddy to pick up the stack of a washer and dryer at my place to get that delivered today at one o'clock. This is done. We can get out of here. Holy Jesus, let's get out of here. Oh my god, get out of the car wash. What time are we here now? What a day. 
twelve nineteen, so he'll be there in about forty minutes. Okay, what oh, was my keys? Wow, today's crazy. I was working on that washer until the guy wanted to buy a washer and dryer to stack. I'm gonna get this off the truck. All right, guys, stay tuned for today's adventure, guys. Okay, let's get this unloaded and get out of here. A little scuff down on the door there, a little touch ups, that's about it. I'm gonna hurry up, I'm gonna go meet my buddy at my place. It's 1 1 30, so I had to do this quick. God, what a day! Still on the time to check this out. So, you guys have time to leave it in the comments. Get rid of these keys so I don't lock myself out. I got like 10 of these timers. I got all the parts of this washer. Not a, not a big deal. I had to, I managed to spray paint the bottom here. You can see it's all black, nice. Tape the feet so they won't get paint on them. I'm gonna sand that little rust down over there. Yeah, we'll get it done. Okay, I'm gonna take the shit off my truck now. Make some space here. Yeah, that stack is in my place. I brought it home to test it properly. All right. For the tough stains, WD-40 is your best bet. There was so much, so much dust here. It was so like glue, but it's all coming off now. You got a scrub pad. Buff all the dirt out. Like see all the handprints. They're so thick, they're hard to get out. See, it's gone. It cleans everything, even here. I might need a thicker pad, but it got rid of it. This mark here, even rust. Even rust, guys. Get it all polished up. Like brand new again. You point that cover and go underneath it. Around the edges here, you can see the dirt. This was, nobody took care of this thing, that's for sure. See that? That's just hard food stuff, or whatever. This comes off, but a thicker pad, a more a dense pad will get it off easier. Scratches, they're gone. This stuff here is gone. There's some elbow grease. Over here, you got more stuff here. Gotta get rid of all that stuff. You can't have that shit here in the fridge. People don't like that crap. Gets rid of it. I might get a thicker pad here. It's all over the bottom here. So we'll keep scrubbing that. Do this. Wind it up a bit. Got the letter open because it was a bit moldy. Okay, I'm gonna get a thicker pad, but that's it guys. Even here, same stuff. A little WD-40. It's even good for the rubber. Polish it up nice, see? Even here, I'm gonna clean the trap. I sprayed all down in here, but there's still some dirt. So I'm gonna get that cleaned up too. So we'll get a, get a better dense pad, a pad, pad, pad. All right, and then this thing here, and I gotta go meet my buddy. Okay, she's all done. See the doors open, let it dry air out. That's it, free fridge on the curb, guys. Well, it wasn't a building complex. It was so badly dirty that they just said, I'm not cleaning this, let's just throw it out. Good little fridges. I just sold one for 350 bucks. This will be gone in one second because people are still asking for that fridge and I already put sold on it. Oh my God, okay. Let's get out of here. I gotta go bring that washer from my apartment down the stairs into the elevator again. Oh, that's a killer. I gotta get this thing out of here. I know where to put that. I guess we'll put that in the side and move my garbage on top. Okay.